It's time! Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. The warrior! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my favorite. Fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. Oh, good elbow right there. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to ring. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jabs, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. All 
All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch man from the top. How's he gonna call this? Ooh, what a head kick. All right, single collar tie now. Nice counter shot there. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Nice punch lands over the top. Huge block there. Lands the right hand. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Big body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks, that one was checked. What a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Lee. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Nice punch, Lance. Got the single collar ties. And both guys really throwing with authority. Spinning back fist. Misses with the left hook. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watch this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Slips the punch. Oh, big punch land. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Boom, straight left hand. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body, again making great use of his length in this match. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Nice strike. 15 seconds to go. Spinning back fist. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. A big kick lands. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my tune. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Good punch lands. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Blocks the strike. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And he landed the right hand there. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. I mean, that right hand landed square. Lee's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Nice straight punch. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. If you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Got the turtle in that kick. Pretty good straight punch there by Lee. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of him. He doesn't have to keep up anymore. The more he can slip the right, the longer he can go on. Left hand punch with the clinch. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. <laughs> Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice. Trying to double up on that jab. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice punch by Lee. Big head kick land. 15 seconds. Real nice body kick land. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Watch these to the body. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagements from this 50-50 position? 
All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round is I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as they start to approach the end of the fight. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Back and forth we go. One coming. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Beautiful strike. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Straight punch lands. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. I guess it pays DC to be the longer fighter. Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's gonna avoid getting hit so many times in the face. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Boy, Ty Plump. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, spinning back fist! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head with the clinch. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. Hands high, hands high. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking clip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back and forth we go. Single collar tie now, and they separate. Oh, 
Oh, huge block. 15 seconds remain in the round. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, single collar tie here. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha! He loaded it up, he threw it straight, he threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Ooh, big shot land. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yeah, absolutely. Go. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Oh! What a fantastic strike. Whoa! Gets up again here, but Hurton. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. That's a good knee to the body. Man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Under three minutes remain in round four. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Under two minutes now to go. All right, side control now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. The bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Look at him whip his hips oh. into that kick. Oh, oh. oh, my goodness. What a performance. 
just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 54 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.